What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to Orcs Must Die 3. We are going through our 5 Skull Rift Lord difficulty playthrough and next up we have the Lava Pit. So let's hop in and make it happen. Here we are once again, friend Vorwick. Fighting the largest orc armies ever assembled. I welcome it, friend Sigmus. I am curious about what drives the orcs. You must admit, they are far more willing to die for their cause than our own orc mages. They're definitely stubborn. Or perhaps just stupid. Perhaps. Nonetheless, their numbers are no match for my strength and your knowledge of rift magic. And here we go. Now, this is our very first war scenario. Uh, we're going to go with a slightly tweaked loadout compared to normal. We've got the Stone Staff, the Jar of Ghosts, the Snow Cannon set up as an Acid Sprayer. We've got the Spike Wall, the Window of Butterflies, some Tar, Grinders, Barricades, those Ceiling Lasers, and a little bit of Brimstone. Now, this one being a war scenario means we have war machines. And what we're going to use on this one is the giant flip traps. Uh, you know, there's nothing like just tossing baddies around. So let's just go ahead and throw a few enemies off the edge. Uh, we're also going to use some of these banks of archers, but I'm not going to set those up yet. And then for the boss, we're going to use this rapid fire ballista to kill the boss. Uh, one of the biggest upgrades you can get on this is the ability to stun. And this thing is actually quite OP for shredding of bosses in war scenarios. But we are going to go ahead and go inside and set up kind of a last resort here. Uh, just like we would if we were doing a high scoring run on this one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and block it off and send all of the baddies directly down this hallway. So we're going to go with something like this. We'll get a grinder up front. Uh, we'll throw a spike wall. Let's go with another grinder. Another spike wall. Let's get uh, some brimstone up front and some tar. Uh, you know, don't leave home without the laser beams, right? And uh, the windows. Let's go ahead and throw one there and one there. We'll space them out just a little bit. And then, uh, what else? Well, I mean, we've got plenty. Let's go ahead and throw an acid sprayer in right there. So, basically, we've got just a little last resort section that we will be using to kill off all the bads. Uh, let's go ahead and get started and see how many enemies we can get rid of just over the ledge here from these flip traps. Now, uh, ogres, of course, are not going to make it over top of this. Uh, they will get knocked around a bit, though. Uh, however, lots of the little bads should go flinging over into, uh, you know, the lovely, lovely background scenery over there. So, uh, war scenarios are super fun. It's one of the new additions to OMD3, and I personally absolutely love these maps. It's a lot, a lot of fun. Some extremely powerful traps that we get to use, and just an absolute ton of orcs, no doubt about it. So, uh, let's go ahead and wreck them up. Now, remember, Rift Lord, so everything has got a shield, right? Well, the shields don't really matter to uh, to the flip traps, so that's all good there, and uh, we got rid of a few of them, but they are going to be channeling through for a while now, so we can go on and head on in and just get comfy. Now, we are going to set this area up, but then we're going to do just a mean, mean killing zone right here in front in this main hallway, but we're a ways off from getting that done yet. So let's just go ahead and get this done. And look at that. I already derped one of my trap placements. Absolutely wonderful. So uh, let's go ahead and see these folks in here. It's going to be unhappy times for these guys. Uh, that is for sure. And uh, we might actually get pushed a little bit here. But as soon as we get this set up, it is going to be just a ridiculous, unstoppable killing area of awesomeness no doubt about it so uh let's just continue to cc them up with the stone staff uh burn them down if we get a little push of uh some ogres or trolls we'll go ahead and pop our jar of ghosts but i'm not going to really sweat it with uh these little baby orcs and uh we'll just let those keep on coming so i derped i derped y'all no doubt about it so we can't 
get the rest of our floor traps in because everything is going to be off a tile. So I'm going to want to fix that as soon as this wave is over. But in the meantime, uh, let's just spray them down. So lots of bads. Lots of bads to be had. Uh, you see the mini map. It is just a line all the way out across that valley and uh, up that pathway coming into it. So there's just a ton of stuff coming. And um, I just love these war scenarios. They're really an awesome addition to Orcs Must Die, no doubt about it. And uh, super fun. Uh, fun on all aspects. They're fun to just do crazy, huge trap setups just to shred enemies. But they're also super fun in the high scoring department. So you can't go wrong with these war scenarios. They're just a good time, uh, no doubt about it. Now, they do take a while. That's the thing. There's a lot of Orcs. It's a big map. Uh, it's going to take a little while to get through them all, so let's go ahead and pop our jar here and uh, get ourselves a little mana freed up here. It takes a little while to kill them all, because, you know, there's a ton of orcs, it's a big area, and we just have to burn them all down. So we are thinning the herd quite a bit with those traps out front. Um, we're collecting up a ton of coin as well. Uh, lots of coin to be had. Now, remember, sealing lasers uh, and armored ogres are not really friends, so make sure you are stunning the armored ogres under the sealing lasers, and that will greatly assist you in shredding those fools. Let's go ahead and fix this mess. Uh, we'll go with another one. Let's get another one. Let's get a last resort grinder in. Um, let's go like that and get yet another Last Resort Grinder in. And then we'll just keep filling it out here as we've got just tons and tons of coin to spend. So let's grab uh, some more acid and throw that up there as well. Um, I'll eventually completely block this in and make it six barricades here just to keep everything nice and neat uh, flowing in here. Actually, you know what? I don't want to do the one in the front, I don't think, because I don't want to pinch off uh, the orcs here. Oh, I saw that guy. He had some hang time. Oh, indeed, and they are flying. Quite, quite glorious watching these guys just launch. <laughs> I think we might as well head on into the kill box. Yeah, it's good and head on in. So uh, we'll head on in. What do we got left? We got another thousand. That's another acid sprayer. Or, you know what, let's just complete the deal with our barricades. Uh, that way no orcs will be walking up into that way. A little bit overkill on the barricades, but, you know, better better to be safe than sorry. For sure. Let's just uh, shred these fools down as they're coming out. I mean, we're getting it here, right? We are getting it, that is for sure. Now, what do we want to do next? Well, we've got more windows, uh, butterflies. Let's just put one back here and spread them out a little. We'll go one there and then one there, and we can fill in the gaps later on. Now, once I get this kill box to a happy spot, which I think maybe another couple of uh, acid, acid sprayers, and I think I'll be pretty pleased with where this is sitting, uh, then we want to start building in that hallway right there because... We can just set up some serious devastation there, and that is going to be good times. So looking forward to uh, just completely wrecking them up in that hallway right there. This is, of course, the very first war scenario, so as far as the war scenarios go, it is the easiest one. Um, you can blaze through it without any issue, really, even on Rift Lord. Um, I don't think many folks will have too much of a problem uh, getting through this one for sure. Lots and lots of coin generation going on. Just a ton of orcs. You know, ton of orcs equals ton of coins. So, gotta love it. Just basically gonna CC the ogres and the rest just let them die in the kill box. We got one more. And then we've got a, a lovely armored ogre making the way in. 
He was mid charge. It looked like. It looked like he was going to come right over top of those uh, those barricades. Let's not let him turn around. We'll keep him there in that acid sprayer. And there we go. Now, do I need to do anything else in here? I probably don't. But let's just go ahead and go one more acid sprayer, and then we will get some glorious stuff going on here. Uh, let's see. Let's go something like this. Uh, I do want to leave a little opening at the sides for some acid sprayers up in here as we get more and more coin. And then remember, you're going to have to save 2800 because we do want to throw down that um, rapid fire ballista for the boss wave. So that, of course, is going to be wave number five. And we don't want to derp on that one. This particular boss is going to stun traps, of course. And we don't want our traps getting stunned. So... We are going to smoke that full, uh, or to the best of our ability anyway. Let's just keep them burning here. We'll get our rapid fire ballista up probably after this wave. And then I'll set up the rest of the go ham area right here. As uh, we are going to have us a nice little go ham area. That is for sure. Let's bring them on in here. Come on in, y'all. It's This area is super fun if you get those all those lasers going. And then you get a bunch of acid sprayers as well. Now, I didn't bring any wall traps. So, I mean, ideally, you have, like, the deep freeze going on the walls. And that just makes it even better. But we're going to have a nice setup going in there. Uh, that's for sure. And looking forward to getting it built out. But we just have to wait for all of these bads to make it in here. Stone Staff is just such a wonderful, wonderful tool. Uh, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and drop a jar here and get a few combos going. Uh, even though we don't really need to, we're not really worried about the score on this one because we are just looking for skulls. So uh, let's just wreck them up. So uh, ogres coming in. We've got several ogres still. Uh, look at that. Those two guys lined their heads up. Just perfect for me. That was very kind of them. Uh, we got a lot of mobs out there still. Quite a few mobs out there yet. So let's go ahead and head back into our kill box and... Uh, just keep on shredding. These, the snow cannons, uh, I keep calling them snow blowers, but they are really, really cool. I have been enjoying these quite a bit. Uh, they're very nice for combos. They do have a decent amount of uptime. Um, the acid, of course, is a new element that we were just getting here into Orcs Must Die 3, so... It's nice to have that additional status effect of the corrosion as well. So good stuff there. Let's uh, just keep on spraying them. We got another jar here. We'll pop that bad boy. And um, looks like we completely cleared our kill box. Wow. We got some more bads though. Never fear. Uh, I do see the end of the line though. So we're getting closer. But we're not quite there yet. Once we get that rapid fire blist up, you know what? Let's throw some archers out there too. We'll throw a couple of banks of archers. Um, we've got a pretty safe killing zone right here. I do want to deck that hallway out there, but uh, you know, it's not really necessary. It's one of those once is greater than need type situations. We're getting it though. We are getting it. We got another jar as well. Might as well just go ahead and waste it on that last mob. All right, now let's go ahead and grab up all the coin. Let's come out here and let's get first off our um, our rapid fire ballista down. Uh, as I mentioned, this is just really really powerful. Specifically, if once you get it upgraded for stun, it just becomes an absolute beast. So uh, yeah, we're gonna throw some archers here. Oh, we're just shy. There we go. Get a couple of banks of archers down. Uh, this you can hop in and just spray down mobs if you want uh, while you're waiting for them to come in. You know, more uh, more upfront kills, no doubt. Uh, best to focus on the ogres with this thing for sure. The accuracy on it is completely terrible, but boy does it pack a punch. And uh, like I said, I got this one set up for stun, so... If you get an ogre silly enough to come close to us like that one, you see it didn't take very many shots to burn that guy down. Now, we're starting to get some enemies approaching our kill box, so let's go ahead and head on in. 
and make sure we greet them properly. We might be able to keep a lot of these mobs out here. Well, it looks like there's an armored ogre coming. Or maybe not. I thought there was an armored ogre there. Let's see. Let's go ahead and start with the acid. Those things are just cool as hell. That's an awesome addition to the game. It's a new uh, visual in, you know, it's the acid element, of course, is not new to the Orcs Must Die franchise, but that particular style of like fire hose type trap is very much new and very much awesome as well. So I love that thing. Just so much fun. Oh, we got a skull. Now remember, your bosses are always going to drop a skull. It's a guaranteed skull drop uh, on the war scenarios. So um, I was curious, and that does not pass along to scramble mode when you get bosses in there. Now, when you get a war scenario in the scramble, of course, uh, as your third map, that boss will drop a skull. Uh, however, if you get the one where the boss is there every wave, they're going to drop coins and not skulls. I was a little bummed about that one, but at the same note, I mean, it's fair game. Very, very fair game. We actually have got so much uh, freedom here, we can drop a jar and just run over here and heal a little. I mean, why not? We've got uh, we've got our kill box in place, we've got a ton of upfront damage, uh, we've got lots of damage as a last resort here, and just nothing's going to make it through, so... GG's, that is for sure. So I'm going to hopefully get this interior uh, entrance way here all set up for way five. Um, not bringing anything for the walls is a bit of a bummer. Uh, I wasn't planning on setting up that way, but it's fun, you know, and uh, if it's fun, then there's nothing wrong with doing it. That is for sure. Let's see, let's grab all the coin we have. Um, let's lay down a bunch more acid sprayers. We'll get four there. Let's drop two more over here. Uh, Crag is here now, so I'm going to drop a few bits of brimstone up front, and then we better go get on Crag here. So that is the whole point of using the rapid fire ballista is Crag, and you can locate him pretty easily on the minimap. He's the big star, but he does have that red plume as well, so he is fairly easy to locate. Uh, having the stun on the rapid fire ballista makes it so you can keep him really, really still. Now, obviously, if you get him up a little bit closer where you're hitting him with every bolt, uh, then that's going to be better, no doubt. Uh, and you can even just build this closer to him. I mean, there's no need to go up here on the ledge. Uh, you can just pop this bad boy anywhere and go ahead and hop in it. We got a lot of good shots into him there. He's got to be getting semi-close. Let's just keep on uh, keep on spraying into him here. And I know we're getting shots on him because he's stunned and he's not moving. And uh, this, of course, is the effect with the upgrade on this uh, rapid fire ballista here. So I think we're just going to wreck him right here. And I don't think he's going to get a chance to move, to be honest. He's taking a lot of bolts, though. He is a very thick boy. And there we go. Crag is down. Now we got one big dilemma, and that is there is a skull out there waiting for us amongst all of the orc madness, but we're not going to leave that behind. That is for sure. Now let's go ahead and head on through. Let's grab all the coin we can on our way. You know what? Let's drop the jar right here. That'll buy us another, uh, another round or two of flip traps. And uh, looks like we've got some uh, some action inside. Let's go ahead and get this armored ogre down, and then we will try to set up our little entrance way there a little bit better. What else do we want? Well, I mean, we can go with uh, another brimstone there. Man, such a bummer that I didn't bring any uh, any wall traps here. Let's go with uh, another sprayer on each side. And then I think we're going to have to put... We'll put some more lasers in. 
We got enough for, what, three, almost four more sprayers, so... Might as well get him in, right? And, wow, look at him go, just hosing down the area. It's so, it's so incredible. Now, it's a generous part-time on this one, as you see. We are running out of mobs pretty quickly. And, um, yeah, we're just about there. And, uh, there we go. We got us a five-skull win on our very first first war scenario, the Lava Pits of the Rift Lord campaign. So that will do it for now. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Um, these maps, I'm just going through and recording them in order, but if there's a map that you are just stuck on and you want to see first, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. Uh, I want to get all the maps done, but I don't care if they're out of order. I can always move them around in the playlist after. But uh, anyway, thanks a ton, y'all, and I will see ya next time around. Take it easy!